Hey guys, Deal Games here, and we are back on my desktop, as you can see. Uh, that's kind of obvious, but today I've got a tutorial on how to set up a simple Minecraft server for 1.3.2. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our browser, and I have this test server folder here where I can drag all the files for the server. You're going to want to make it one yourself. Just title it server or whatever you want to do. And we will go to Minecraft.net to download the server files. Download. And here's the multiplayer server, so if you're on Windows, download the EXE. Uh, I don't even know how to set up a server for Mac, so screw those guys. <laughs> uh, no offense, Mac people. I don't want to start a war, I've already done that enough, considering I put out that other video yesterday. But you're going to put your Minecraft server.exe in there, and just run it. There we go. So now, what it's going to do is it's going to create all these files here. So... Uh, it failed to bind port on mine because it was set to the default port, which is already running on the deals gap server. So what we're going to do, is we're going to go into our server config, and you can see here we have a field called server port. I'm going to change that to 25566 for convenience. The default port is 25565, so you guys are going to be doing that instead. And you can change all the stuff here that you want to, so MOTD, that's what shows up when you're logging into the server. So let's do... Uh, Let's do that. Uh, allow flight false. You can set up all the stuff here. You can even have a custom texture pack for the server. Server IP, spawn animals, true, game mode zero, online mode true. Online mode, if you have that to true, that means uh, that it's going to confirm that a person is actually connected to the Minecraft.net servers. If it's set to off or false, then I believe it's considered a cracked server. I'm not exactly sure how that works. I've never experimented with it. Uh, game mode 0, that means that you're going to be in survival mode. If you change it to 1, that's creative, and I believe 2 is probably adventure. So we're going to keep this on 0. Uh, spawn animals true. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. We can close out. Here's your server log file, so that shows everything that you've seen in the console so far. Alright, so now go back into your web browser, and you need to go... Oh, first, uh, I forgot a step. Open CMD in your start menu and type the command ipconfig, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G. And I'm going to try to upload this video in at least 720p so you can go full screen and see exactly what I'm typing. There's that. So you can see we have a default gateway field here, which is 192.168.0.1. So I'm going to close out and go to 192.168.0.1. Okay. And here is my router login. So, I'm just going to enter in and go to Tools. I'm on a D-Link router and, oops, I mean Advanced. You're going to have to find the section on your router for port forwarding. So once you've found port forwarding, check that. Set it to uh, mm, third server. Why not? Because I already have the rest of them set up. All right, so get all my information plugged in here. And you can see that is my IPv4 address. I forgot to check that. So my router is kind of nice in that it, it can tell what IP I'm using, my IPv4. So I'm going to type in ipconfig again if you don't know what your IPv4 is. There's that, 192.168.0.100, and that's it. Okay, then your TCP and UDP are going to be 25566 in my case. 25566 and that's really all we're going to need to do in the port forwarding section and that's going to be all it is for most of you once you found your default gateway and configured your port forwarding if you can't figure out how to port forward your specific router you can go to I believe it's portforward.com and click on your manufacturer and it will tell you exactly how to port forward that specific router so that's kind of cool uh, now I have two routers so mine is a very special case and I'm guessing none of you have two routers and now I have to go to 192.168.1.1 to get into my second router, which is in the basement. So my uh, modem goes into my router, which then uh, allows the internet connection to go all over the house, and the second router is plugged in upstairs. So here, oh, let's see if I can remember this information. Oh, man. Come on. Um, oh, I think I got it. Let's see. Okay, awesome. If you have a, a uh, Linksys router, 
can go to applications and gaming third server all right and you guys you'll only have to configure one type of router so you'll just have to figure out where you or how to configure your router and you'll be done 25566 both we'll set that to 100 because that's my IPv4 address which is what you want you don't want your external IP address you want your IPv4 address enable save settings Okay, so now that both of those are forwarded, and I can go back into my test server folder, run Minecraft underscore server. Okay, and you can see here, it's now creating a world because it was able to bind the port properly. Now we, what we can do is we can go to ipchicken.com. Okay, and so that's going to open up and that will tell you your IP address. And this is the address that people will use when they are connecting to your server. That's your external IP address, which is what you need to connect. Don't use your internal unless they're at your house connected to your network. Okay, so there's my external IP. Join server. And you can see there I've successfully logged in. Alright. Oh, my bad. I forgot to add the colon 25566. Because I used the 25566 instead of 25565, I have to put that extra port at the end if I want to connect. So, that should work. Yep, there we go. You can see I'm in a new world this time, instead of in the deals gap server. Uh, everything appears to be working properly. If I explain something poorly and you think I should redo this tutorial, please let me know. It wasn't the smoothest of commentaries, but I thought I did a fairly decent job, so you can let me know if there's something that I need to clarify, and I can try to put all the links to this stuff in the description. I will see you guys later. Deal Games, signing out. Those are some weird trees.